Uh, of course, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, many of us say that we'd like more energy to get through our day, and some people are now turning to vitamin B12 injections for an energy boost. So we're talking about that this morning with Dr. Jonathan. Jonathan Thierman, president and chief executive of Express Care Urgent Care Center. So good morning. Morning. Thank you for being with us. For Thank those you. who don't know, what is B12 and sort of what are the, the benefits? Sure. Uh, B12 is a water soluble vitamin. A lot of people take it over the counter as a pill, um, but we offer it as an injection. So you can only have to, you only have to take it once a month or so instead of every day. Uh, the benefits, primarily people find that their energy levels are increased when they take B12. Mm -hmm. So that's the, the primary benefit. It has lots of other benefits for metabolism, your nervous system, but basically fe people feel good when they take B12, if they're deficient especially. Mm -hmm. And looking at the graphic here, so you, looking at some of the, um, the benefits of the B12 injection, the injection versus maybe the supplement, what, what are you showing us here? Sure. Well, the reason why people are sometimes deficient of B12 is that they don't absorb it well through their stomach for various reasons. And so the injection is kind of a guarantee that you're going to get it into your system. Mm -hmm. uh, the other major benefit of the injection is that it lasts longer. So you can get it once a month, once every other month, instead of having to take it every single day. Those are the two big benefits. Got you. Okay. Are some people like are some people more naturally B12 deficient or how does this work? Yeah, surprisingly more people than than they know are B12 deficient. They estimate somewhere between 10 and 20 percent of the population. Uh, elderly people tend to be more B12 deficient. Um, vegans and vegetarians because it's primarily a um, an animal product. So if oh. you don't eat meat or drink milk, you're pretty much not getting B12 unless you supplement. Mm -hmm. um, and then surprisingly, people who take antacid medicines are often B12 deficient. So uh, I checked myself out. I actually eat lots of meat and exercise and everything, but I was B12 deficient because oh. I take a daily uh, you know, antacid pill. Okay. And that, that makes your stomach unable to produce the factors that you need to absorb B12. I was going to ask you what the natural way is to absorb it. I mean, you, you see your vitamin D in the sun, so that was simple. But yeah. you say meat. Um, Milk, dairy, eggs, it, essentially animal products. Okay. And so you need to consume them. You need to have a certain level of acid in your stomach and you have to have a good stomach lining that can create something called intrinsic factor, which helps you absorb the B12. If any of those things are off, you're gonna be deficient in B12. Got mm -hmm. you. And like we go, Ozempic, those have become super popular. Those also affect B12? So mostly people take B12 when they're on those because it makes them feel more energetic. It also, um, uh, helps with nausea sometimes. Um, and so those, that's the primary reason that a lot of people taking Ozempic are taking B12. Mm. Uh, people who do get gastric bypass, however, are missing part of their stomach. They are classically deficient in B12. Gotcha. Okay. Now, is there a risk of getting too much of it? They haven't found any evidence that there's any <laughs> toxic dose because it's a water-soluble vitamin. Your body easily clears it. Mm -hmm. It's um, it's like taking you know uh, too much uh, of a multivitamin. You'll uh, eliminate it. So okay. you, there's nothing really harmful about taking too much. Mm -hmm. So Express Care Urgent Care offers B12 injections. You just call and make an appointment, or yeah, you can even just walk in. Oh, okay. Um, you know we're here for you when you're sick, but now we're trying to do things to help keep you healthy. And this is one of our initiatives to try and keep people not from getting sick. All right. Well, doctor, thank you so much for being with us. That's yeah. a great. Yeah. I mean, we hear things all the time. We need to try to make sense of them. And that's what you just did. So thank you so much. My pleasure.